Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Primary CC coming back again with a motherfucking video. Okay, y'all, it's been five motherfucking months. What's up? Yes, what's up? Oh my god, like y'all, my life. I got some tea for y'all, okay? Yo, me and my 62 subscribers will do just fine with the tea that I got. Alright, so before I start, what's up? How is everybody doing? How is life? You know, I know with this whole pandemic or whatever, people are just going through it, but just go with the flow, do the best you can for you and yours. Oh my god, y'all, I cannot fathom that enough. Okay, so with that being said, the topic, as you read by the title, is like basically these are the reason why you should not not work for franchise companies and I'm only going to speak on behalf of where I was working because I don't know no other franchises I can't speak about that but there is a lot of ups and there's a lot of downs and there's a lot of pros and cons to working for franchise that's why you should ask the right questions before you sign up for that particular company because in the long run sus bros they can they can really mess up not really mess you up but like they can slow down your process to go about being bigger and better so y'all let me talk about what happened to me okay let me run it down for you i am a manager it don't matter if i currently work for a company or not my title is management manager i took a test i'm a manager by law i'm a manager by law or state I don't know but I'm just gonna be like by law I am a manager not my law by job I'm gonna put it that way I'm a manager I took a test and I passed my test and I'm a manager so anywhere I go I'm qualified to be a manager in a fast food working industry period so might have they might have different uh, certifications you have to achieve so you can be a manager for that particular company but for my particular company at the time you do not need extra stuff you just need this one little paperwork and after that you're good to go and you'll be left in the store running your shift by yourself with your employees so with that being said y'all let me start off by saying what's up once again it's your girl primarily cc um i do have another name but we're just gonna go with cc because I like that name better to to be to be um my trademark in a way. Like I'd rather be called my nickname than my real name because motherfuckers go digging and diving to find a, a bitch. If you if you could, you would go and get my social if you wanted to. Like when you get up there, people wanna know every damn thing and we ain't gonna do all that. We're just gonna know the bare minimum to get the point. So yeah, I'm 24 years old, got two little kiddos. Yep, that's me and mine, two little kiddos. So, y'all, this is crazy. Like, what I just experienced the last month was so crazy, but it was a blessing in disguise because I keep telling myself, do not get comfortable in nobody's house. Do not get comfortable in nobody's house. Do not get comfortable in nobody's house. I got comfortable a little bit, but God slapped me and said, girl, wake the fuck up. Wake up. Because, yeah, if that little Gucci now, but it could be dead ass gone within like a second. Out of your face, a blink of eye. So, that's exactly what happened. And I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what the freak happened. So, a month ago, right? June 30th, 2021, at 12.08 a.m. Yup, a.m., not p.m., overnight a.m., um all right basically your altercation happened between me and an employee i'm a manager and i have employees but 
before I even get into that, y'all, what the fuck? I cannot believe I'm talking about this right now. Like, this is crazy, but it is what it is. I mean, your girl going out to bigger and better. It don't hurt me. But I'm going to tell you why it hurt me, but it really don't hurt me, if that makes sense. All right, so, so on that date, me and the employee that's only been there for like a good maybe less than three weeks um me and employee got into altercation i only been a manager for one year but we've been working for mcdonald's for six years ongoing not ongoing um over time so i never got into an altercation with no employee maybe an argument but not an altercation. So I got an altercation and it resulted to cops being put on, um, called on me. Like, how y'all call the police on me and act like I'm the problem? I'm not the problem. You're the problem. You provoked me. You initiated everything. You deserved it. So, y'all, it's crazy, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> I get too excited for this. All right, let me start all over. All right, so me and this employee that's haven't been there for a whole month. So you on probation, ho? I'm not. I've been working for that company for two years and some change. So yeah, let's put it that way. And then I remind you, at the end of the day, it don't matter what title you are. It don't matter if you new, if you old. They will let you go in a motherfucking heartbeat. They don't give a fuck. They not the ones working hard. So it's like, bye, on to the next, basically. Like, cool, cool, whatever. But anyway, I could get a sidetrack. Okay, so what happened was me and her got an altercation about because I didn't go run my shift immediately, she got pissed. But she didn't show me that until I asked her, hey, isn't it time for you to go too? Because she started snapping on me. I'm like, what the fuck are you snapping on me for? And I was like, um, you don't, you don't, in my mind I said that because I wasn't going to ask you. In my mind, I'm like, you coming for me? Okay, fuck the management. Fuck on the, the, the uniform. I'm a human at this point. What's up? Because at the end of the day, you're not going to talk to me like that. You're not going to talk to me like that. Period. I don't, I don't care if you, I don't care who you are. Don't talk to me like that. But anyway, big and all ho, I'll still fight your ass. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care. I don't care if I lose. You're gonna feel these hands, motherfucker. You gonna feel these motherfucking hands. But anyway, y'all, I do not condone violence. Never that. Walk away if you can. If you getting fucked up, just fuck that bitch back up. That's how I look at it. But anyway, y'all, so. Basically, like, I came my shift. I saw at 11. All right, the door's locked. I'm here by myself overnight. So I'm hurrying up until everybody and their mama leave me. I'm hurrying up. And then when that hour came where it was 12.08, in a, in, a, in a whole hour span, I did keep looking back at the screen to make sure she's fine because I know you're by yourself. And I'm taking in consideration where I like to treat people how I want to be treated. Now, this is why I go about being too nice, cause they run over you. But I know how to, I know how to clap back. You, you're not gonna do that. It working by myself taught me I don't need nobody. Yeah, it's gonna be more work, but it's not hard. You just gotta go with your flow. You gotta find your flow. So, in a way, if you wanna act the fool and you wanna leave, girl, bye, boy, bye. I'm not gonna stop you going back for you it is what it is you lost your money i didn't so if you want to stay stay but shit this is not my house shit me but and one thing you ain't gonna do is you're not gonna you're not gonna talk to me in a certain way and think you're gonna get away with it like no so anyway um this is the thing with the gym the gym in a way should have told me Hey, we, this person didn't show up to work. They quit. Um, this is your replacement. This down the third. Now, before I even say anything about replacement, knowing that the people that work overnight didn't come. So automatically I'm thinking in my head, I'm by myself. Fine. I'll be by myself. 
I mean, at this point, I, I'm through crying. I'm through complaining. And it, it taught me more strength. It taught me more, more, more flow, like a flow sheet of how to go with being by yourself. Because there's times where you will probably be in there by yourself. And I hate when they use the fact, oh, you're a manager, you could do it. I'm not a dog. I'm a manager, but I'm not a dog. You know what I mean? A dog can do it all. A dog can run five miles. Not five miles. A dog can run 100 meters and still come back with more energy in their ass. I'm not that. I am not that. So, I don't like when they use that terminology like, you're a manager. So, I'm a human, bitch. Anyway, so fast forward. Um, I she started snapping on me. Oh wait, hold on, I'm moving too fast. So the person that was supposed to come for overnight didn't show up. He quit. And okay, you quit. Bye. Whatever. What, what you want me to do? I'm gonna cry for you. I'm not gonna beg for you. Like whatever. Hate to see you go. But hey, if you on to bigger and better things, I wish you went a better way about it because maybe one day you might want to come back to the company and then the company might be like, no, because this is the way you left us. Um, why should we give you another chance? This and third. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm all the dust. Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to change theory because my phone died. And yeah. So while I was, when I was really interrupted by my motherfucking phone, um, basically like, this is the problem with GM. You want us to communicate with you as a manager, but when it comes down to you, you never communicate with us as a manager. So it's like, why we gotta find something? Why we gotta find out something on the day of? Or when a, when a customer asks me, or I'm just gonna say me, when a customer asks me about something, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what is that? The GM don't communicate any upcoming events. He he don't he don't let us know anything until it's pretty much in your face, present in your face. So, anyways, long story short, y'all. She snapping on me talking about, I said, aren't you leaving too? And she was like, no, I leave at four o'clock. I didn't even bother asking her when she leave because in the beginning when I first got there because I asked everybody else and then she told me she no it she told me two weeks before I even asked her that question. Whenever I see her, it's because she's trying to she give her friend, which is another manager, a favor. So why would I ask you again? All of a sudden now you wanna work Tuesdays? Okay. Alright. But that's not my main issue here, y'all. My main issue is why I'm at a standstill with trying to get another job. I shouldn't be at a standstill trying to get another job. Especially if they're requiring some type of requirements that the job has that's stopping me from starting my job. I'm already in the process of being hired, but they need that one red flag to be on go so that I can start. Now, before I even tell you like what the problem is, just understand, you should really understand what you sign up for when you work for a franchise companies. Corporate in a way is different because it's different owners, it's different uh, uh, command and chain, it's different people. So, but it's still, it still should be the same guidelines in a way, you know what I mean? But anyway, like, I'm sure y'all wanna know about what happened, cause I'm just gonna say, like, basically, she started snapping on me. I told her, I gave you, I gave, I even gave her an explanation and said, well, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be talking like that because I thought you was leaving, and she's still snapping on me. I said, okay, do you wanna go? I'm not going nowhere, it's her response. I was like, wanna go home? And she was like, I'm not going nowhere, which is her response. And then, and I'm not putting too much emphasis in it. I was like, you wanna go home? She was like, I'm not going nowhere. I'm like, you not? Okay. I went and clocked her out myself. I told her to clock out first. She told me no, she ain't going nowhere. 
And then I clock out myself. I come back up there, mind my business while she's still running her fuck ass mouth. And I said, what you still doing here? I clock you out. You need to go. You need to leave. I'm not on. Oh, she said, make me leave. Now you're looking for a problem. You got the problem, but you're looking for the problem. And then she started talking, 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 talking in her Caribbean accident. I don't even understand it. So I got closer to her to understand what she was saying. All I see is fingers in my face like this. I move her finger like this in my face. The girl pushed me. Like, pushed me and put a mark on my skin right here. I think it disappeared already. But anyway, she pushed me, y'all. the fuck? And I got mad. And I started fading her. Because, like, you ain't, about to, you ain't about to do that to me. Yo, when I tell you I wasn't ready for this shit, I wasn't ready. I was slipping and sliding and everything. I wish I could get the video for y'all, but unfortunately, I can't. So, y'all. So, <laughs> so, um, I don't have my shoes on properly. Like, I don't have my shoes on fucking properly. I'm slipping and sliding. I still got to hold her hands because when, you, when she backed me up onto the counter, when I tell you about the counter, the back counter where the hot coffee pots were, Thankfully, the coffee pot wasn't full to the top. Because if it was filled to the top, my whole back would have burnt. But it only it only burnt me from right here all the way to my side of my butt. Yeah, side of my butt. And when that happened, I was like, oh, oh bitch, you gonna get what the fuck you looking for? Da -da 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 -da. Her friend jumped in the middle of us. I was going to grab the the other coffee pot with fill to the top. The one that's filled to the top and throw it at that bitch. Like, when I'm telling you, when I get mad, I'm not myself. I just see nothing but red for your ass. I don't care. You know what I mean? I just don't. So, yeah. Man, she's so lucky. Like, so many things I could have done to this bitch. But she's so lucky. Damn. Oh my God, we're not gonna talk into details because I don't know where this video is gonna be. And I don't, want, I don't want nothing coming after me. I don't wanna deal with nothing that go down if, if she do cut caught up and say it's me. Da, da, da. I ain't got nothing to do with that, boo. I'm just giving the story time. So, yeah, man, don't mess with me. All right, so it resulted into her calling the police on me. How the fuck you gonna call police on me? When you provoked me, when you initiated every damn thing, and you got what you was looking for that night. How the fuck does that happen? How does that happen? Whatever. The reason why I don't involve the police at the time when I was talking, when I was um calling my boyfriend. Oh, wait, wait, wait I'm jumping too fast. At the time when I was calling somebody, I automatically thought to call my boyfriend. Fuck the GM. Fuck the police. I'm calling my boyfriend. My boyfriend is the type, actions, um, actions, ask questions later type of dude. That's all he needs. If he see I call him at a unusual time, um, he's gonna jump. He's gonna jump for me. At least that's what you should do, boo. I mean, Bunny and Clyde over here, we ask questions later, okay? So yeah anyway call my boyfriend hurry the fuck up hurry the fuck up da, da, da. i'm not gonna go into detail what i'm saying to him because at the end of the day i don't know where this video is gonna lead to so long story short um she called the police on me all right in the middle of everything i was trying to go outside her friend which is another manager had the keys to open up the door i said give me the key so i can go outside give me the key so i can go outside she didn't want me to go outside her friend still run her fuck ass mouth um my boyfriend on the way all i see when i turn around i see my boyfriend jumping through the motherfucking window i'm like what the fuck in my mind I'm like what the fuck i just heard and Somebody just jumped in the window and I and it happened to even my boyfriend. <laughs> it's funny to this day. But yeah. Um the police pulled up, he jumped back out the window. 
And then the police questioned me and she, I'm giving them my side of the story. She giving them her side of the story. How are you gonna call the police? Just for the motherfucker to come back next to the motherfucking officer that's next to me saying, those two over there not cooperating, but you were the one who called the police on me. So at this point, I right, they conclusion and conclusion all this at this point they made us both sign they had us both sign um a paperwork stating whatever happened this night will not go further into court it won't be prosecuted more whatever the paper said i should have taken a picture but i don't give a fuck at the time like my mind was pounding. i mean my head was pounding i was pissed i wanted to go for her fucking neck like it's so much shit that was just running through my mind I didn't even think to get a picture. I didn't even give a fuck. Alright. So they say, if you both, not you and you, or you or you, if you both don't sign this motherfucker paper, you're both going to jail. Where the pen at? Where the pen at? Because ain't no more. Man, listen. If my record would have got fucked up that night, bitch! You would have got it. I don't give them more of a reason to put me in fucking jail longer. Because ain't no bitch, ain't no way. You new as fuck. And you come here for my motherfucking life. I have everything going for myself. Baby, I had I was gonna go to school. Man, I was gonna use the company um money to go to school. I was going to cut back my hours and focus on school, spending more time with my kids, and starting my 1099. Which I had everything going for myself, but in a slap on my wrist. No, not even on my wrist. The way I got slapped. Y'all, they got rid of me so quick. It was like, no questions, no nothing. Because the person who I knew jumped through the window, um, basically, he said, well, the person I said, um, I'm moving too fast. Damn, girl, calm down. So, um, yeah. So, basically, because my boyfriend jumped through the window, and I knew the person that jumped through the window, and I didn't voluntarily let him in, I didn't signal him to come through somewhere, out of nowhere, it's just you hear a loud noise, and then he comes through the window. So, because I did tell them, that was my boyfriend. You had no proof if I didn't say nothing. But I did. Whatever. Um when I had to sit down with the when with the um the supervisor, when I had to sit down with him, he basically put his two cents in. You wasn't brought to put your two cents in. You was brought to have me sign these termination paper, whether I wanted to sign it or not. And then get my check. That's it. But now you want to add your two cents? Let me add my two cents in. You talking about because the person who I knew jumped through the window got me fired. Not because of the fight. Not because none of that. It's because the policy was broken. Did I remind you? Oh, I didn't even tell you, y'all. I didn't even tell you. There was three other men behind my boyfriend when he decided to jump through the window. I could have been like, I don't know them. That was my cue would be like, I don't know him. Sorry, I ain't got nothing to do with me. But I did say so. Um, whatever. So being said, he said the supervisor that gave me the termination papers. He said because my boyfriend jumped through the window, we have to let you go. I can't keep you. What about my life that night, sir? What about my life that night? You got a motherfucker telling me she ain't going nowhere. And you got another motherfucker telling me, well, you got the same motherfucker telling me, make her leave. So what about my life that night? What about my life that night? But, but hey, when they money being stopped, um, when they money being stopped, basically, is what I could say. When they money being stopped, it's a red flag for them. You got to go. But it wasn't even me that night, y'all. But I'm going to take it and leave with it because I'm going to prosper and grow with this. Because that's just what we do. We don't downgrade. We don't do that. 
so I'm not really hurt. Now the real reason why I made this video is because they holding my paperwork so I can go and get me another job. Ain't no way you can do that. Ain't no fucking way. Because yes, I became a manager with you, but that doesn't mean it was your personal program. It's not enclosed with you. I can go anywhere I want to. So being that you let me go, okay, I said it, okay, whatever. I could have got me a job the next motherfucking day. Like, that's how clean my record is. Like, I could go anywhere, okay? So, being that, I took advantage. I told my GM, look, I'm tired. I worked six years in a row. Took all these vacations. No, I took all these holidays. I was working all these holidays. Like, I was doing so much. Y'all... It just go to show, don't do what another motherfucker won't do for you, okay? Like, I think I made like $70,000 within six years. And I have zero dollars today. Zero. Nada. Zero dollars today. I do have a savings, but I'm just saying for me, zero dollars today. Nothing. But if I wanted to, I could take a fucking $20,000 loan. I can I can do all that, but who wants to? Who wants to? Who wants to do that when you could just easily work for it and then take it where it can make you more money? Don't take it to use it and pay it back. That's not how you're supposed to use a loan. You know what I mean? So, y'all, this is crazy how I'm talking about this, but. It wasn't even near 12 hours after the incident happened. You already have a termination paper ready for me to sign and seal and go. But when I asked you, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I took a month out of work on purpose so I can just chill and be relaxed and just rejuvenate. You know what I mean? And I'm relaxed and rejuvenated. I'm good. Like, I, I come more relaxed and i come more calmer i come more <clears throat> excuse me i come more ready to work more so y'all tell me how this company talking about well we don't mind giving you what you asking for we don't mind giving you more money than you started over there we don't mind giving you more hours we don't mind doing none of that but red flag be beat we need the release letter stating it's okay for your ass to be here because we ain't gonna get sued for nobody, not even Obama, not even Beyonce. We not getting nothing. Okay, so until you get that little paperwork, good friend, you will be in the hiring process, but it won't be completed until we get that paperwork. Now, boom. I'm here thinking the GM, not GM, the supervisor can get me, get me all right. I text him. He talking about, I said to him, uh, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, my job, my new job is requiring me to have a release letter stating it's okay for me to work with them, even though I no longer work with you. Um, how soon can I get the release letter? He texted me back talking about, I don't need one. Baby, if I ain't need one, I wouldn't have contact with you. So don't make this a fucking big deal. This is not your house. At the end of the day, they can let your ass go too. Stop it. I don't like when people do that. And not to put third world countries on blast, but you came from that. And why are you acting like a Nazi? Why are you stopping my flow? Why are you doing that? Why are you acting like Uncle Sam? Why are you stopping me? Like, what is your problem? Just say you're going to do it and I move on and we never speak to each other ever again. You know what I mean? Because they told me either get it from the GM supervisor, so forth. The supervisor is obviously higher than the GM, so I'm gonna ask the supervisor. So I did. The man gave me a runaround. And I texted him again. I said, um, can you please send this to my email? No response. But it didn't take y'all long to write a, a termination letter on my ass. So why is it taking you so long to respond to me about a release letter? Baby, I live seven minutes away from the um from that McDonald's, okay? So, ain't nothing to come pick it up. It's nothing for me. But y'all making a big deal, so I gave you a day. It didn't take y'all a day to write me a termination letter, so I gave you a whole day 
to get me right and you ain't doing it fine command a chain i'm going to go to the director of operator if i have to go to the corporate office and go get it myself baby i will because you're not going to stop me you're not going to stop me from being better and a go-getter you're not going to stop me i have so many opportunities where i have options to live on unemployment i have the bare minimum to live off of i mean no no i'm saying wrong i got i can i can go on to unemployment i can go to cash assistance i don't want to i've been working since i was 16 years old i know how to work and not complain about it i know how to go to work and do my job and come back home and repeat i know how to do that without i never in six years y'all i never i never got a write up because i don't do that i come there i treat people how i want to be treated you know what i mean but you ain't gonna cross me that gonna happen so that's my problem y'all that's what the fuck i'm going through right now i'm not gonna say they're not gonna give it to me but y'all taking y'all sweet time to give it to me we're not doing that sus we're not doing that, bruh. We're not doing it. Like, you finna give me what I'm asking for. Or we can go down to the uh, the EEOC. And the EEOC will subpoena your ass. Like, what's up? You ain't cooperating? Okay, we're gonna subpoena your ass. If the shit ain't gonna go through, okay. So she got further action along with her. Where she could take it to the law. She could take it to the court. Just give her a fuck ass paper. That's it. Like, it could happen. But it's a process and I don't got time for a process. I got stuff to do. Like that one little incident, fine. I have savings. I have I have zero dollars, like I said to myself, but I do have a savings where for emergencies. So I was fine to not work for a whole month. And I now it's a whole month later. It's like July 27, I believe, 2021. And your girl ready. I wish I knew about this paper two weeks um with them being on a break for with that with being on a break for a month because maybe I could have got it two weeks with while waiting. But it is what it is. I'm still not in a hurry, but um my time is up. <laughs> my time is up and I need to start working again because I have stuff to do. Um, I need to start my 1099. That's number one, number one key. If you know you can start a 1099 and flip money and start making money in your sleep, um, it's time to use the white, the the white. I won't even say that. It's time to use the crack of money and flip it. Okay, it, it's time to do all that. Cause don't get comfortable in nobody else. I got a little comfortable and look what happened to me. Just like that and a drop of a dime. They don't care if you want to eat the next day. They don't care if you got rent. They don't care if you got a car note. They don't care. They don't give a fuck. If they money stopping, baby, you got to go. Today, as I as I see, I was wrongly terminated. But that's fine. I can go to another company, make more money, work the hours I want to work. Um, that's the only benefit of doing that. Because, like... You go to another restaurant or go anywhere else, advanced. So they will pay you for advanced money, okay? So that's all I'm going through, y'all. It's just they're not releasing a letter for me quick enough. I don't even know if they're going to do it. That's the problem. Like, if you tell me, oh, wait a couple days, I'll wait because I know it's coming. But for you to just ignore me and not answer my question... That's so fucked up. Like, how you get to eat at night and then you don't know what I'm going through? How you know if I'm not starving myself this night because I know I ain't going to get no money the next day? I refuse to suck dick for money. It ain't going to happen. I refuse to live off the government um, because it's just me. Like, I want to do it. I want to do it myself. I don't want to be secluded to where, listen, we're going to give you this, but you're going to work this much hours and that's it. You're not going to limit me. You're not gonna limit me. I'm gonna do what the fuck I wanna do. I, I, I have freedom for a reason. I'm gonna use it. So, y'all, moral to the story is know what the fuck you sign up for when you sign up for it. Every money out there ain't good money. 
All money out there are not good money. All money out there are not good money. Okay? All money out there not good money. So, if you don't do something, get with the flow ASAP. You don't get comfortable like me. All right? Be cool. Prosper. Because your girl going to get the real money out here. We're going to flip some buildings. We're going we gonna to do what we got to do. Okay? I tell you to this day, if God willing, my kids going to have a silver spoon in their motherfucking mouth. Period, Paul.